Good evening everyone, I am Richa Sera, Editor-in-Chief and Founder Responsible Hospitals and today I would like to welcome all of you on our Insta Live channel. So as you know that I always come up with a different kind of topic and today's topic is all about the hypertension which, ha which happens during the delivery. So yes, the delivery process is not that easy. Yes, it is very important to understand the value of it. It's really important to understand the pros and cons of it and what can affect the baby, what can affect the feet. I think this is what we are here to discuss about. So we would have Dr. Monica with us joining and she will be talking about that how can this make a big importance in our life and how can it really affect as well. So I'll be just adding her to the live session and we'll start the session soon. Good evening, Dr. Monica. How are you doing? Good evening, Richa. I am very good. Uh, I thank you and the responsible uh, hospitals page for uh, making this live session for the uh, viewers. And uh, let's hope this is a very informative session. Thank you so much. So I'll just give you an introduction. So she's Dr. Monica Agarwal from Panchkula, Chandigarh. And she'll be talking about hypertension during the delivery process. How it is effective, what affects it, and how come it is making an important role in our life while being pregnant. I think these are very small aspects, doctor, and very important for us to understand, you know, that, so I think this is what I've picked up this time because a lot of people, they usually, uh, seeing the COVID times, it really affects them badly. I think the mind. So it is really important for us to understand what is hypertension because this is a big word which people usually talk about it. Is it related to depression or is it related to tension? So I think we'll start with this objective that maybe it could, it could be help of anybody. What is hypertension in your language as per your understanding? So uh, thank you Richa for this question. This is a very important question. As you uh, rightly introduced me, I am Dr. Monica Agarwal. I work in Cloud9 Hospital at Panchkula. So uh, I would like to say that hypertension is the pressure with which the blood uh, is pumped by the heart into our blood vessels. And uh, it uh, kind of uh, is the pressure which is applied on the blood vessels, uh, which we measure. You must all be knowing we measure it with a cuff or put on the arm bilaterally. And uh, uh, it has a systolic uh, part that is the higher, higher um, uh, number and the diastolic uh, version that is the lower number. So we have a certain normal value for uh, blood pressure hypertension and if it is beyond that normal value, higher than that, then we label it as hypertension. So hypertension is uh, basically the pressure, high pressure of the blood on the blood vessels of the body which affects majorly all the organs of the body. Sure. So doctor, how do we, how does somebody understand that they are going through a hypertension phase? What are the symptoms of it basically? So hypertension basically is uh, mostly, it is not without any symptom. It does not have any major symptom. So some of the minor symptoms with the person can have is headache. Means if they get very frequent uh, headaches, if they have uh, problems in the vision, if they means uh, feel that the vision is not clear, or uh, in pregnancy specifically they get uh, swelling all over the body, but swelling is not essential. So basically uh, the dictum, the bottom line is that we should be uh, going for blood pressure measurements every six months maybe if you are feeling headache then more frequently so uh, it is basically a disease which is diagnosed on measurement of the uh, blood pressure of a person so uh, i don't think that it has got many major symptoms sometimes it does present uh, as a serious thing like loss of vision or intracranial bleed so it is a very serious issue sure and so since you told about the complications little more I would want to know that what all complication do you think they can actually feel they can have if they do not actually sure. look upon it well. 
so uh, blood pressure can affect as i already told you uh, all uh, the major organs of our body if we start from head to toe so uh, first of all it can affect the brain which is a very uh, major organ in our body it can cause uh, intracranial bleed jisko hum we call it in simpler language that there was uh, bleeding inside the brain hemorrhage brain hemorrhage basically which we call it is called as intracranial bleed or it can present as stroke means a weakness in some part of the body a paralysis we uh, in simpler terms we call it as paralysis then it can affect our eyes it can cause uh, blurring of vision papilledema lots of problem in the eyes next vital organ which it can affect is the heart so uh, people do present as heart failure they have various cardiovascular problems because of high blood pressure and uh the other major organ is the kidneys so kidneys can go into failure they can cause uh, renal failure and also the peripheral blood vessels can get affected and because of the narrowing of the blood vessels we can have a uh, destruction of the platelets which can present as low platelet count so diagnosing and treating blood pressure is very very important and people should understand that if they don't have any symptom it does not mean that the high blood pressure is not causing damage to their body sure so understanding this i think we really understand that how important it is to understand the you know uh, as a person that you know you should not go through from such state so that the delivery process gets normal and you become the baby becomes really fine so uh, how how does somebody should manage it you know is there any uh, ways wherein they can manage this problem uh, see uh, if we talk about the uh, means uh, i would like to ask are you talking about the blood pressure in pregnancy this one or a normal person is it uh, because in the pregnancy or so no, i, I would like to ask how, how does somebody manages the hypotension in pregnancy or normally yeah, just like pregnancy. that in pregnancy in pregnancy so in pregnancy it all depends that what is the period of gestation at which we have detected the high blood pressure preeclampsia which is called as and uh, what is the level of blood pressure okay so uh, if the blood pressure is detected at uh, uh, means term means the baby is quite mature 37 weeks and then the lady develops high blood pressure then usually the um, uh, course of action is we deliver the fetus we don't wait any more and then we investigate the mother see for the well being of the fetus and deliver the fetus so delivery is basically treated for high blood pressure in pregnancy and if the blood pressure is detected at a lower period of gestation like the baby is not mature so we would like to still keep the baby inside the womb and uh, hence we kind of uh, give treatment to the mother first of all we investigate the mother what is the level of her uh, blood investigations what is her urine protein level what are her liver function test renal function test what is the status of kidneys vision and all and also we see uh, the well being of the fetus of the baby like we see uh, look for the ultrasound we look for the dopplers blood supply to the baby and if uh, these things are all right then we give her medication to control the blood pressure anti hypertensives and we put her on usually we put her on a special diet which consists of uh, uh, less fried food low salt and uh, put her on bed rest so um, these ladies they have to visit the hospital more frequently to check for the well being of the mother and the baby and till the time we are able to prolong uh, her pregnancy uh, till the fetus is mature and after that we usually then we deliver that is the uh, main uh, means treatment what is preeclampsia there is is okay. it something technical about it if you would want to explain yeah so preeclampsia is a very very technical term and it is very specific to pregnancy uh, 
so if we talk about the high blood pressure during pregnancy there are certain classifications we would like to talk about there are four kinds of high blood pressures so one is chronic hypertension which is either a pre existing high blood pressure or it uh, develops before 20 weeks means the human pregnancy is of 40 weeks so if the blood pressure develops in the first uh, half that is in the first 20 weeks it is called as chronic hypertension the blood pressure which develops after 20 weeks is usually because of pregnancy so it uh, also has three categories one is simple gestational hypertension without any other major uh, organ involvement the preeclampsia is a serious thing so preeclampsia has involvement of other organs it involves kidneys which causes proteinuria it involves uh, the liver the heart the brain the eyes it may involve any organ and preeclampsia i would like to say may develop into eclampsia if the uh, women get uh, seizures or she goes into coma then it is a very very serious condition which is called as eclampsia and the last one is chronic hypertension and when it is superimposed by preeclampsia the lady already has chronic hypertension we know that but uh, when she develops involvement of other organs then we call call it as superimposed preeclampsia so preeclampsia is really a serious multi organ uh, disorder and if the lady has swelling or sudden weight gain or she is ex- experiencing headaches blurring of vision um uh, the epigastric pain pain in, in the liver area she should immediately contact her obstetrician and uh, the obstetrician will uh, look for the uh, blood pressure and other investigations and manage accordingly so don't be so uh, sitting at home this is so high that you can't let her wait and you just have to admit her yes see uh, here also we have levels so as i told you if it is mild 14090 uh, blood pressure with no other organ involvements we may manage her as outpatient uh, patient uh, at home but within contact in constant touch with the doctor and she should follow all the instruction which we give her but if the blood pressure is high and it is of the tune of 160 by 110 or more then we usually admit and stabilize the patient and then we proceed further so i'm sure you must be seeing patients who ignore these diseases saying or thinking sometimes headache happen sometimes you know uh, swelling happen it's quite normal so i think for them you can just make them understand that what kind of risks are associated with kind this kind of disease if they do not take it seriously yeah so uh, as i already told you richa so preeclampsia's major uh, complication is eclampsia means if the uh, girl pregnant girl she ignores her headaches she ignores her symptoms and her blood pressure rises beyond a limit then she may get uh, eclampsia seizure basically jisko hum kehte convulsions we call it call it as convulsions general generalized tonic clonic seizures and this is because of certain changes growing on in the brain like there is lots of cerebral edema there is there are infarcts there are microthrombi various things happen they aggravate and they cause convulsions so uh, with convulsions the life of the pregnant mother is at risk this is what i would like to say because eclampsia is a very very life threatening condition our main aim in uh, pre eclampsia is to prevent eclampsia we don't want the lady to go into convulsions and we just means uh, terminate the pregnancy if we find that she is just about to go into seizures we deliver the fetus so delivery is the treatment so uh, 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 eclampsia is a very very life threatening condition and uh, another thing uh, another organ which may be affected is the kidney so both the brain and the kidneys are vital organs so uh, with pre eclampsia sometimes the ladies they develop renal failure so uh, that is also very critical condition so i would say that please they should not ignore because we have to take action before these vital organs are affected true right right absolutely 
so let's come back to the hypertension part that uh, any any specific diet would you like to offer to the people who are going through a hypertension problem sure so sure. this is a very important question so uh, here i would like to say that the incidence of hypertension in pregnancy is increasing the reason for this is uh, that uh, the couples are conceiving at a uh, advanced age they are marrying at later uh, ages and they are conceiving beyond 30 also the lifestyle has changed a lot uh, meaning they have lot of sedentary uh, habits and they eat lot of uh, rich food which consists of fried things junk food lot of salt outside eating has increased the restaurant eating has increased so that food all sodium means salt sodium so that this uh, thing that increases the blood pressure levels also uh, means they don't exercise basically so uh, the diet that i would specifically advise for the patients who either have a family history of hypertension or they have a uh, history of preeclampsia or eclampsia in their previous pregnancy they should eat a very very light homemade diet means they should not be uh, eating fried heavy food with a lot of salt so added salt added chutneys uh, salads ke upar salt dalna and uh, having uh, these ketchup is uh, harmful for people who have hypertension they should be taking a very very mild salt in their diet and uh, avoid junk food avoid Uh, refined food like white sugar white maida and should be exercising at least 40 minutes per day 5 days a week this is the basic thing i would like to give sure. the message understood i just got two three questions online i'm just going to quickly pick them up uh sure sure so as as that does preeclampsia affects the brain of the mother for long term see uh, preeclampsia does affect the brain of the mother so uh, there is as i already told you three major changes in the brain first is swelling in the brain that is called as cerebral edema then there is infarct in the brain which means there is reduced blood supply to certain areas in the brain because of the microthrombi there are small clots forming uh, in the vessels of the brain which cause infarcts in the brain but luckily all these changes they are reversible the most uh, dreaded uh, thing which we get in preeclampsia is called as press but uh, it is reversible posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome it is a medical term i know you will find it very heavy but in short we call it as press and press the main thing is r in the press it is reversible so the good thing in our um, uh, means maternity part is most of these things they reverse after delivery and the mother is absolutely normal within 6 to 6 weeks to 3 months of delivery but medical attention uh, has to be given quickly means the the delayed medical attention she gets the more difficult is the reversing of these things so if we quickly want to reverse these things please uh, go to the hospital very fast and we have certain drugs which will reverse these things so uh, the main dictum you have to remember is reversible it does affect the brain but it is reversible okay sure so doctor uh, let's suppose if somebody is going through hypertension phase already so uh, i mean how do they proceed with the pregnancy then so if you know that you are hypertensive so first thing is you have to change your lifestyle reduce your weight uh, change your dietary habits and uh, also there are certain drugs which are not safe for the pregnancy so uh, if uh, the lady is taking any diuretics and ace inhibitor these are two drugs which are acting on the blood pressure part so usually before conceiving we like to change these drugs diuretics and ace inhibitors to the safer antihypertensives and when the lady has been told on the safer antihypertensives which are safe for the fetus we ask them to conceive and uh, um, when she conceives we uh, monitor that pregnancy from very early part 
and we give her certain preventive medications also so there is a drug you must have heard about ecosprin so this is a low dose uh, ecosprin which is a wonder drug i would say so this ecosprin has a role in lots of problems of uh, pregnant girls and it is a preventive medication it prevents lots of problem which may happen in the future so uh, to the girls who are already uh, hypertensive we give ecosprin from the very beginning of pregnancy and it prevents lot of problems in the mother and the baby so the baby uh, in these mothers is at risk for having uh, low birth weight and uh, doppler changes and low blood supply basically so if we give ecosprin these problems are either prevented or they are delayed so we get time to act sure so doctor tell me let's suppose if someone develops hypertension during pregnancy then what are the chances of getting high hypertension after the delivery okay so this is uh, also a question which all the girls they ask us so uh, if it is a gestational hypertension mostly it uh, recovers within 6 weeks within 6 weeks she is back to normal if it is preeclampsia or eclampsia these things also mostly recover after 3 months it may take 3 months but uh, this girl just a second my last question to you is share any general trip uh, tips for a woman who is going through from this stage and wants to conceive i did you get it can can you hear me the tips uh, the tips i would like to uh, uh, tell uh, the women that firstly uh, lifestyle then they should reduce their weight and uh, shift to the safer uh, medication which are safer in pregnancy uh, and they should go for uh, i would like to specially mention the first trimester advanced screening so this is a special ultrasound and combination of ultrasound and biochemical markers from 11 weeks to 13 weeks this is a very important test which predicts uh, the future problems and based on this test we can start ecosprint and prevent problems later in pregnancy sure sure thank you so much doctor for your crucial time it was really great interacting with you it was really informative session thanks so much for being with us thank you richa for inviting me and i hope the viewers enjoyed and had the uh, informative yeah, session course, and i also enjoyed a lot looking forward for more <laughs> sessions with you thank you so much any time any time okay you too bye bye